Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to properly apply red lipstick. I know red lipstick to some can be very scary, especially when you don't know how to apply it or if you pick the wrong shade. I get it, you'll look like a clown. Sorry, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Every girl should learn how to apply red lipstick and this is why I'm here to teach you. For this tutorial, I use Motive's 40FY Lip Treatment, Motive's Retro Red Liner, MAC 318 Retractable Lip Liner Brush, Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in F Balm, Motive's Small Concealer Brush, Makeup Forever Faux Color Concealer in Number 6, a Small Motive's Eye Blender Brush, and now I'm saving the best for last, the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. Now let's get started. The first step is to apply lip balm to moisturize your lips. Cracked lip color is almost as unattractive as bright red lipstick on your teeth. Next, make sure you use a lip pencil that's sharp and then gently sketch a line around your lips. Completely fill in the mouth with a lip liner to create a base for your lip color. This will help the color last longer and stop the red from bleeding. Choose a lip liner that's brighter than the lipstick for a punchier finish. If you go deeper, you'll get a ring around the mouth, and I guarantee you that's not very attractive. Next, we're going to apply a red lipstick. Make sure you use a lip brush so that you have more control over where the color goes. Be sure to apply your lipstick evenly and within the lip lines. Apply red lipstick on your lips starting from the center of your lips and working it outwards to the corners. I tend to keep my mouth barely open so that way I have my lips completely covered. This will also assure me that I won't stain my teeth. When choosing a red lipstick, make sure the coloring is flattering to your skin tone. Blue based red look better for those with cool undertone, while orange based red look better for those with warmer undertones. Last, make a big pouty face when you're putting on your lipstick. This will give you the illusion of big, full, kissable lips. Next, we're going to use concealer. Concealer eliminates any redness and accentuates the shape and color of your lips. Using a small foundation brush, you're going to then outline your lips with a concealer. This keeps lipstick from smudging or settling in the lines of your mouth. The concealer will act as an eraser. If you made any mistakes during the application process, just erase. It's as easy as one, two, three. If your lip color is not pigmented, you can put concealer on before you apply your lipstick to bring out its true color. I skipped this step because F Balm from Urban Decay is highly pigmented. Next, we're going to apply translucent powder with a small powder brush. You then lightly tap the powder outward. Using powder on top of your concealer will help blend and set the concealer so it does not run or crease your lipstick. The only time where you should avoid using powder on top of concealer is if you have really dry skin because it will then make your skin very visible and it will look very cakey. Last, repeat the steps until you get your desired color and shape. And there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.